Good morning, it's Friday morning, Derby Jack here. I got something to tell you, it's just gonna blow you away. Now, y'all know that I've subscribed to Black Earth, or Flat Earth, Black, Flat Earth, excuse me. But here's the thing, for all of you, and even to Flat Earthers, I don't look at it the same way, the basic, like, y'all have it almost right. The, the dome, okay. The problem is, is that I still believe that there's a three-dimensional, what we call space, within that, that rev, that, that, that one. See, when you look at the old pictures, they show the different outside where the guy's going through, Enoch's going through, whatever. They got, they got here, the earth, then you got your first heaven, which is that. That area that we would call space doesn't go for infinite. It's a hologram. Because I've always said that if you took your finger and just pushed your eye, close it, all of a sudden, if you close your eye, you'll start seeing things that look like space. It'll start getting... It's, and it looks in your eye as if it's like a three-dimensional. All the planets up there, okay, if we take what Velikovsky had stated when he, back in the 60s, when he went around the world and... Uh, 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 you know, ha what happened to the world that the world's waters boiled uh, during the flood and the flood happened because Venus got too close to his per his way was Venus got too close after it got shot out of Jupiter because Jupiter gave birth to Venus these were the de demigods these are the gods now I know wait a minute this don't even make sense right I listened to Roger Spur of Mud Fossil University. If you ever came across him, you either were disgusted, you didn't understand, because even, even he states that Jesus spoke to, to Thomas, Doubting Thomas, and it's been written by Thomas, that that's why they took all these books out of there. Because if you, if you left those books there, you wouldn't worry about finding God. You would know that God's real. And that's the thing they want you. They want you to try to find them, but they want you, they, they, they want to hide them in plain sight so you don't know all the things that are going on in the universe, our universe. Now, the end times are coming. Maybe, just maybe, this is a co coalition. Now, we remember, like I said, if Venus got too close, got shot out, got too close to, to us, then the the whatever happened to the natural elements, the earth churned, water, rain, all this stuff, and all of a sudden the earth's boiling. That's why you got all the big giants that are our landscape boil. What's left of them? Uh, uh, transition from 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 biology to theology to, 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 to uh, geology. So the big spot, the red spot on Jupiter. Lo and behold, listen, it's a vagina, ladies. Take a good look at it. As you see it this way, think of it this way. Take a look. They call it the, the bowl, okay? Like a vagina, a bowl. I'm not trying to get dirty here, okay? Natural, the body. Why it's round, I don't know. Why? Whatever. Now, some say that they are all, planets are all angels. Well, yes and no. They are. Or they are Biological living things. Still, Mars, if you look at Mars, it's got the same type of landscape that we have in Arizona. Okay, so if if they have gotten a, a, a thing up there, if Mars is real, it's within our dome, within a three-dimensional kind of space. That when you're even, even if we do have the satellites up there, they can't go you can't get the enterprise to get out of here. It won't happen. It will eventually, if, if you go through what we call space, eventually it will hit a wall. The wall that you think of, the dome, you're thinking that they can't shoot up there. I'm beginning to think that they can, but there's no place, up, but they don't understand. And maybe if they are on, on hypothetic, let's say they are on within our realm, Jupiter, 
Or we did hypothetically say we did go to uh, the moon. Moon, I think, is different. Moon, I think, is plasma. Okay? But the others, I do believe. Because the moon, according to God, was the moon and sun were totally different than all the other stars in heaven, the other heavenly hosts. Remember these words. Doesn't it say they're the heavenly host? It's not just talking about the angelic, you know, the wheels within wheels with the eyes, not just them, or the other spectrum that look alike like us but beautiful and long blonde. They're, they're, they're separate. They are workers for God. You know, the, 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 the Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh and, and, you know, uh, Saffron, these were all, they are workers for God. But, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, I can never pronounce these words. But the planets, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, you know, uh, uh, Pluto, all of these are within our realm. And, of course, the oceans above, okay, whatever. The water separating. Well, it talked about that. But I think that everybody's got it. Even the flat earthers have got something wrong here. Because I've been thinking. I've been looking. I've been researching myself. And I'm going outside of some of the things that you guys say. Because some of it, what you say, makes sense. But other areas don't. But when I think of the eyeball. When I think of what. Because I got a lot of this from uh, Enter the Stars. I, when I was watching him for a while. I got off him because I can't get into the, but he did mention many times about the eyeball, about how they make moon, and the eyeball is, is, is that if we were, if, if, if our land was on that eyeball, it would be like flat, but yet domed, and then there would be the eyeball around, okay, the liquid, okay, waters within, whatever's outside, waters above, whatever. What I'm saying is that third heaven is a holographic that we see when we look up during the day and night, especially at night when we see them stars, it's holographic. But it's a, but it is, it's got meat in it, okay? It's, it's a hot, that we are able to get up there, but we will never be able to travel the stars. There is a, stuff. that's my take on it. I could be totally wrong. But I'm, I'm I'm trying to trying to reason this. Now, according to Roger Spur, he says that what's going on on Jupiter, if you understand the eye is changing, but if you really look at it, it looks like it's swelling, like it's getting ready to give birth. Only question I have, I, I basically I haven't I haven't put it down there. What made or who or what pla what made J Jupiter be able to give birth unless it was pregnant, unless it's self-pregnation. I don't know, but and I know this all sounds weird because, like I said, doubting Thomas, when he wrote that Jesus said that when people find out how the, when, when when there's people out there who find out how the world was actually made, they they they, they will be disgusted and then in awe. Because it would like, so the world, because it says in the beginning that God, that, that, that the, um, when God created the earth, the heavens and all that, is that, it said what later on? There were giants in the earth. Okay, think about this. In the earth. So what was the, what was the earth when it was put together? A, a substance, a ball. Okay, I know what it says, you know, in the waters and this and that. But when he did put it all and coalition it all together, okay, he, God, I forgot where I was going. I know where I was going. Um, it says that there were giants in the earth in those days and also after. So there were smaller giants after. But the big giants were the scope of what this giant thing is. So there were giants on the earth, big giant ones. The earth itself, I remember in an old, I think, German Vulgate that I remember when I was Bible college that it stated that God created man from the flesh of the earth, which is red clay. Red clay, God made man from clay, and in Hebrew, 
Adam comes from the derivative uh, or derives from um, Adame, which is red clay, the richest dirt there is. The red clay is the blood of the earth, the flesh of the earth. I know you're still disgusted. I know you're sitting here saying you're out of your freaking mind, Derby Jack. But you know, the things that God can do and the things that, that, that how he's done things, you know, you can't be a scientist and, and try to figure this. Scientists can't handle this. They, they got to have a, a what they call a natural reason. But they don't always get it right, of course, right? Many times they're foundation. See, this is foundational. If what is true, how are they going to hide? If Roger is right, he's saying that, that Jupiter right now is getting ready to give birth again. It gave birth once to Venus. Venus got too close to Earth, and that's when the waters boiled and it got all rain and everything. That was Noah's, Noah's time. And then all the giants got pushed down. And when the earth, when the waters went back down, they were, they were rotting. The big giant uh, dragon over in, um, over in North Africa, go take a look. It's, it's spewing out, out of its beard, it's spewing out all kinds of stuff on the fish because it wants to kill it. Take a close look. Go on Google Earth and take a close look. You will see, there's a, go up the neck and you will see the dragon. You'll go up his neck all the way across the continent to his tail and you will see the cut that Ovid and they destroyed him the scientist all the evil uh, 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 evil people you know the biochemists all the scientists all the uh, NASA people because they can't handle the truth and they don't want you to know the truth see if the truth were to really get out there about God the good, bad, and the ugly about God, okay? Some people would say, this is the ugly of God. You mean we're living on a dead carcass? Hell right, yes we are. Where do you think, see they say, remember the old mantra, oh, we're, we're the stuff that stardust, we're made out of stardust. No, we're not. No, we're not. That's a bunch of crap. We're made out of the dust of the earth. Everything copper comes from blood. All the big rainforests, all them, those were body parts that just, that, 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 that died and, and, and just things are happening. All those little black balls that you see all over the place, those are, those are things that when you're, when all the little flesh and stuff that make you go back and forth, they have liquid in them and they have little balls that keep them where they are. They, they're like little, little places that everything goes back to where it was. If you didn't have them, your skin would never go back to where it was. You see, these are things that make sense. But it's all corroded. It's all down. If doctors, if scientists would actually look at the earth, they could learn more about the body than they ever knew. And yet, they don't look at it that way. So their foundation is already flawed. It amazes me. I didn't expect to go here because I've got to get ready to go to work. But anyway, so think about all this, people, because it, it, it amazes me. But remember... If it happens, it could happen. Like Maybe this is the end times. If it shoots a planet out, maybe it'll shoot it near us and we'll go through catastrophic stuff. Who's to say? But all I'm saying is get ready for something. I just can't imagine looking up and seeing uh, uh, something uh, coming out of that. But it's a vagina. Jupiter's pregnant. Jupiter's getting ready to give birth. Don't believe me? NASA can't explain it. They don't know what to think about it. Oh, they'll make up something. Oh, the gases and everything. They're coming around, and it's been a hundred billion years, and the gases are coming around, and it takes a long time going around. They'll come up with some bullshit. They'll have weird names. It is a paralysical hobo. They'll have some stupid words, and they'll bring it in mantras. Oh, Jupiter is going to change the spot is going to go away and they'll have all kinds of shit don't know what the hell they're talking about they got script they don't know what the hell they're saying so anyway just thought i'd bring that out give you something to chew on derby jack out see you all on the other side